Hi box modders. Now, some of you have asked, uh, why can't I just put a Zener diode on the gate of my MOSFET and have that be a low voltage cutoff? Well, I'm about to show you why you can't. And it's, uh, it's a principle I've mentioned before. Uh, the Zener diode drops uh, its rated voltage, uh, give or take, depending on uh, input voltage and current. Uh, it's going to drop uh, a certain voltage across it, and it's going to let the rest pass. It is not like uh, a voltage-controlled switch. Uh, if it's a 3.3 volt Zener, it's not simply going to turn the circuit off at 3.3 volts. Uh, what you see in regulators is <clears throat> it drops the voltage below a regulator's on-off logic level. So it drops it to the off logic level and turns it off. And that's why it seems to be an on-off enabler, but it really isn't. Uh, so I've got this little uh, circuit here. And uh, this is just some stuff I had. This is my uh, in-channel MOSFET. Uh, this is a... I'm not even going to tell you the part number because I don't want you to go fucking buy it. Uh, this this is a 400 volt uh, in channel that was uh, here for a different project and that project never got pursued so I uh, repurposed it. I got about a 4 ohm uh, power resistor here. Uh, it can handle quite a bit of power so I'm using that as my load and that's fine. I got uh, a cheesy little Radio Shack uh, mushy as fuck switch. That's always good. And I've got Oh, I also have my, uh, I got a 10K pull-down resistor in there. Hello, there you are. And I got my Zener diode right there. Uh, that is a uh, 2.5-ish, 2.7, yeah, 2.5 or 2.7 volt Zener. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I, it could be fucking anything within my operating voltage, and it's going to show you. So, um... So let's crank this bitch up. Oh, by the way, the uh, the VGSTH on this one is about 5 volts, uh, which is another reason it's uh, no good for mods. Um, so, But it's fine for this application because I'm going to turn this up. Turn it up to about 8 volts. Uh, we'll go 8.4. Pretend we're on a uh, series setup here. Yeah, good enough. And uh, I want you to see... First off, I'm going to connect... Well, I've got my voltmeter connected to my uh, my Zener. I'm going to read the voltage drop across the Zener. So let's see. I'm going to push a button. I'm going to look at my fluke. I'm at 1.6 volts. And it says negative because I have the, the leads connected the wrong way. <clears throat> so, and uh, you can see that right there. Um, red wire, black lead, eh, whatever. So anyway, uh, 1.6 volts. Why... Is it not dropping the 2.7 volts that it's supposed to, as a, as a, as a Zener? Because there's not enough current passing through it. Uh, Zeners are not magic. Uh, they re they rely on a certain current level to uh, drop the voltage that they that they're rated for. So uh, so that's number one. Uh, you can't predict their behavior uh, on this circuit as well as you can on a regulator circuit. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Uh, now I'm going to move my leads over to, I'm going to read across the MOSFET. Uh, and I've had people say, but the, these are both uh, the, the source and the drain. This is the back of the MOSFET, so it's source, drain, gate. Um, the source and the drain are both negatives. Yeah, but uh, there's a resistance in here and uh, you drop a voltage across it. So you go for the more negative point to hook up your negative lead and the less negative point took up your positive lead. How do you know? Because the source is closer electrically to the negative than the drain. And uh, that is fairly easy to comprehend, I think. Okay, so I'm reading across my MOSFET now. And um, let's see, I got 8.5 and I'm reading 8.5, so it's open. That's what that means. Uh, we have an open circuit and it's off. That's good. That's what we want because I'm not pressing the fire switch. Now, when I do press the fire switch, it's going to drop to about 0.456 volts. Okay. Now, I have the luxury of a current meter here. So, 0.456, let's remember that. Uh, 1.91 amps. Now, 
we know volts equals current time resistance, right? Ohm's law. So if we take volts and divide them, 0.456 divided by 1.91, we get 0 0.238, 0 0.24 uh, ohms. That's, uh, that's ohms, that's ohms law we're working with. So let's go to our data sheet here and let's see. Uh, we have RDS on is 0.26 ohms max, and we're and typical 0.19. We're within that. Uh, so I have just uh, proven to you physically that this number on this data sheet is not bullshit. I've also shown that this thing is fully on at uh, 8.5 volts. So let's turn it down to 8 volts. Um, now. Understand the, the number 8 volts. Uh, the number is going to change. It should drop. Uh, if it's fully open, it should drop a little bit. And it does. It drops a little bit. Our current drops a little bit. Uh, good. Now, let's turn it down to 7.5 volts. Let's see what we get. If it is going to stay open, this number should drop again. It did not. It is higher now and my current has dropped some more. Um, the voltage went up, the voltage across my MOSFET went up. Why is that? Because, let's see, we were dropping about 1.6 volts. We saw that across the Zener. Uh, we're at about 7.5 volts. Uh, 7.5 minus 1.6 is, hmm. I think that's lower than our 5 volt VGSTH, our threshold, our gate source threshold voltage. So we are now no longer a switch. We're now a variable resistor. And this is the danger zone that I was telling you guys about uh, over and over again. The guys who want to hook up a potentiometer to regulate voltage uh, through a MOSFET, um, this is the same thing. So, um, I'm not hot at all because I haven't really been running it, and uh, I can run it for a little bit. I can put power through it. Uh, resistor definitely going to get warm. MOSFET not so warm, but let's turn it down some more. Let's let's get this thing opened up a little bit. Okay, seven volts. Holy moly, that's like half the voltage dropped across that thing. Now my MOSFET's starting to get warm. So let's see. On 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Um, it's starting to get warm. And this is on a pretty light load, by the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, not even an amp that I'm running through there. And uh, and it's this is good. This is good for like 18 amps, which is another reason it's no good for uh, mods. Um, and it's starting to get warm. Now imagine if you put uh, 10 amps through it, or 30 amps through it, assuming it could handle 30 amps to begin with. Uh, what do you think would happen? You'd burn that motherfucker up. And that would be no good. Thumbs down. Pibasardo thumbs down for that. Um, so, let's keep going. When when are we actually going to see it cut off? Uh, and the way we're going to know is uh, this won't change. And it only changed the tiniest bit. Uh, so we're at 6 volts. And we see we have a little bit of current. We notice we jump from uh, 10 milliamps up to 20, uh, and probably something less than that. But that's as good as the resolution gets on on this guy. Um, I'm not worried about it. So six volts turned about a little bit more, and no change in current, no change in voltage. So now we're off. We are in cutoff. But you see, there's that whole gray area. Yeah, let me just knock my shit over. There's that whole gray area uh, from somewhere just below 8 volts to about uh, 6 volts or so, maybe lower than that, uh, to where this guy is a heater. This guy is now sharing the duty as a load. Uh, so these two are competing for the load. And uh, no one wins in that situation, ladies and gents. No one wins. Um, so Zener... As a cutoff, no good. Alright, I'm going to show you another way that, that you can tell this thing's in a variable state. 
notice my LED right here. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on, and we're at 6.2 volts, you're going to take my word for it. I'm going to turn it up, and I'm at 7.1, I'm going to turn it up, at 7.9, 8.6, and it doesn't really get any brighter from there. It does a little bit, but not to the extent that it does right there. So we're pretty much, pretty much off right there. It also has a uh, forward voltage drop. It uh, offsets it a little bit. But there you go. That's, that's that variable resistor state. That's the MOSFET acting like a variable resistor. And it's getting, you know, it's not getting super hot, but it's getting warm as I go through and do this. So there you go. Uh, can, you, can you make a cutoff for this thing? Uh, yes, it's possible. And uh, there's, there's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, if I find a really good way that doesn't take a lot of parts, uh, I'll, uh, I'll upload it. I'll show you a video and uh, I'll make a diagram. Sound good? All right. Uh, you, uh, you box modders, uh, group members, read the fucking pin post. Uh, you guys on YouTube, uh, keep on writing those racist comments because uh, that's what you do on YouTube. Bye.